Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of 5 Pixel Skyblock. I originally wasn't planning on uploading for a bit, but I wanted to show a few things that have changed, and there's an event going on. So, your boy's gonna be making more videos early, earlier than expected. Uh, the upload shouldn't change for you guys. I just, I'm gonna have like 40 episodes before the freaking first seven come out at this rate. It's fine. Well, first of all, the most notable thing is I have finished my quote-unquote mini farm. Uh, if you guys remember, I think it was last episode, it might have been two episodes ago, I did the farm where I did the carrots and the wheat, and I started the potatoes, I think. But between episodes, I finished every single crop. Now, I made it where every single crop has the same total space. I think with the exception of the thing I'm currently standing on. But um, once I make the bigger versions of these farms, I'll show you guys how I prefer to do them. Most of it's pretty standard if you look up any tutorial. But there are a couple that I do a little bit differently. Um, normally I do put things on, on the melons and pumpkins, for example. But... You know, we got ourselves the cute sugarcane field, cute cacti field, nether wart, pumpkin, melon, and cocoa bean, which I recently learned you can actually do a farm for manually. Someone lied to me. Someone lied to me several times. And then the one where the spider is currently hiding is for mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> they trigger the pressure plate. But while they're opening, you can see that I am growing red mushrooms in there. I don't... That counts as redstone? Can I shoot through the open door? I can! <laughs> I love bows. Um, but yeah, that's where I keep my mushrooms. Basically the idea being, whenever I am AFK now, instead of just fishing, I can grind the crops and go back through without really leaving my island and depriving you guys of too much content. I have gotten a, a, a fair bit of progress though. First of all, I have the small agronomy sack now. Um, I bought an enchanted leather because I had a lot of money left over um, so that I could craft it because I did a couple of wheat contests. Um, I didn't buy anything with my rewards, but I did collect them. Um, for the most part, it was just a couple of slice of life changes. For example, I went back to 1.16.5, so now the crafting menu isn't as glitched for me, because, um, I think the only time you guys would have seen it is when I did a speed up, but when I would put enchanting stuff here, I wouldn't be able to set it down. And it made crafting minions incredibly annoying. <laughs> you know, of course. Um... So I would have to place them down, and I actually started to do that a little bit, and then I realized, this is annoying, let me look up how to fix it, and it's literally just that 1.17 onward, have a problem with Skyblock for some reason. As you can see, I've also changed some minions. Um, I did a little bit of upgrading on the Gravel minion in particular, so he is actually no longer placed, but using him I actually managed to get two more slots, which is why we have a little cage here for zombies. It was originally for bunnies, but that... I, I only needed them for a very short amount of time, and I also used the area here for Emerald and Lapis, because why not? Now, speaking of bunnies, I have done a little bit of collecting as well. Now, I crafted the rabbit before I fixed the issue with enchanted stuff. So... Yeah, hopefully there will be another pet I can show you how to actually craft pets with later, but for now, when you get a pet, you add to your menu, and I'm actually going to be equipping my good boy. Where is he? There he is! Hello, Rabbit. Uh, Rabbit is one of the best early game pets, because unlike Grandma Wolf, who has a, an effect outside of when it's equipped, the Rabbit doesn't, but the Rabbit doesn't care. The Rabbit gives you extra farming XP even as low of a rarity as rare. So, you know, he's he's the goodest boy. Now, I also have these two things because it is Mayor Jerry season. Also, high sand minion. Um, <laughs> Jerry, 
our good friend Jerry is currently the mayor, and when he's mayor, sometimes when you harvest things, a Jerry will pop out. And if you viciously murder the Jerry, you can get a box. And by opening the box, you can get rewards. In this case, I got probably the worst reward. I got Jerry candy. And then there's, I also have a purple one. Now, I was thinking about selling it, but since it's the first purple box, I'm going to open it for you guys. Let's just see what I get. I just got 20,000 farming XP, which leveled up my rabbit all the way up to 24. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that put me pretty close to the next farming level. That's not levels. Yeah, I was at 19k out of 50. I'm now at 39k. So, you know, that's just casually worth it. If you if you ever spawn a Jerry, try to kill him. <laughs> just try to kill him. It's easier if you have a bow, because then he can't really run away from you. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I think that's pretty much all of the actual updates. Though, if you do notice, I have done, like, some expanding on my death um <laughs> but no i've i've done some expanding i can't i'm trying to finish my sentence while eating through the air and it's i just keep failing no oh my god fine i'll be lame game jeez we'll go up the freaking boring way but um, what I was trying to say, <laughs> I have expanded a lot of the areas. You can see that Acacia Wood in particular, you can see it no matter where you stand near the center now. Because um, I've made it very thickums. Hopefully I'll be finishing that, not between episodes here, but fairly soon. Because once I have that finished, I can actually start working on legitimate builds. Uh, right now I am mostly progressing on dirt and Acacia level. Because once that acacia flooring is done, I'll be able to swap the acacia minion out for something like birch or oak. Because... Oh, wait. I... <laughs> Thank God I freaking went to show you that, because your boy forgot. I do have an... I do have another thing that I unlocked that I didn't mention. I haven't placed it yet, because I wanted to do it with you all. Because I didn't even craft it, actually. It was going to be my crafting demo, but your boy scatterbrained, so... Mm, mm. Favorite. Top tier. So we are going to heat all the way back up, because I need to get the things I need to make it. Um, if you guys remember, the main reason I was getting Acacia to the level that I was, was because I don't like mobs spawning on my island. If I want to grind combat, I'm going to grind combat somewhere else. I'm just looking in the wrong chests. So, I unlocked the final recipe in the Acacia Collection. As you can see, I have two of these maxed out. I have the Jungle and Acacia Collections maxed out. Now with Jungle, I'll be able to make an Ocelot pet once I have an absurd amount of wood. But, Acacia gives you the Repelling Candle. You can use the repelling candle to either prevent mobs from spawning in some parts of your island or all parts of your island. And as you can see, I have the materials, and you'll see that they actually let me place them. So, I now have a repelling candle. And I am going to place it to get rid of all mobs on my island. I know that makes things more boring, but it will let me stay more focused when I am just chilling on my island. So what I'm going to do is... We're gonna- we're, we'll have the candle right by my bed. Oh, I can't place it on stairs. Okay. Rude. Um. So we're gonna place it here. Now mobs will no longer spawn on my island, other than those made by minions. And because this is the light blue area, we are gonna go with the aqua-colored candle. You can change it to whatever color you want, and it's super cute, and it stops mobs from being mobs. <laughs> uh, so that's fun. Anyway, today's episode is actually about something that I have not even mentioned yet, and I'm ten minutes in. The mining fiesta. Also, hi, Jacob's contest. I could enter that. No, I can't. It's 9.30 p.m. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We missed this contest. Maybe we'll do one next episode. But... 
this mining fiesta do be lasting to the 17th because it's Jerry. So, not only can we get a chance for getting a Jerry with any block we mine, but we also have the ability to get refined mineral. It's pretty rare, but meh. Uh, I do also have... Where is it? I forget where I put it. I think it's... Yeah, I have eight lapis and eight coal. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try to get um, eight of the last material so that I can go to the dwarven mine. Uh, when it comes to the materials that I have, diamond is actually fairly close to being there, ironically enough. Whereas something like redstone is really far away. Yeah, pretty diamond is the one that we are the closest to getting enough for. So I do genuinely think going for a bit more diamond grinding. Oof, that lag spike though. Um, I do think going for a bit more diamond grinding is smart. Dang it, I'm trying to. I think there's a fairy soul up there. Hold on. Yeah, there is, but I don't have the skill to reach it. Or, or do I? Hold on. Maybe I do. Maybe I can be a smart boy. Eh. Can we make it? Eh. We overshot, so we can make it. Okay. Like I said, everything I can do to avoid being scatterbrained, I will do. Because as you can see, I haven't even gone to the mine, and we're supposed to be unlocking the dwarven caverns. So, you know. Gosh darn it. I will get this very soul. I will get it. Editing me better fast forward through this part. If I don't, I'm going to be mad at myself. Because <laughs> rage is not the name of the game. We got it. We got it. We got it. So I'm probably not going to fast forward through it because I made it after that attempt. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I'm so bad at games. I'm sorry. I am. I hate it. I hate it here. I do. Okay, I still have the angler armor, but the angler armor is better than the diamond armor in almost every way. So, you know, it is what it is. We got to wait for the gold mine to load in and then yeet through the gold mine. Now, having the grappling hook, I I think the grappling hook was in the last episode. I hope it was. If not, y'all are probably very confused. Um, I'll have to double check what I actually did and didn't do on camera last time. But just in case, the way that the grappling hook works is it's just three enchanted string and sticks, I think? Or was it three stacks of enchant- I don't remember. It- it's enchanted string and sticks. <laughs> that's that's how you get this. Um, but let me just verify something before we actually start mining. Uh, oh no. Okay, yeah, I, I kill him in one hit now. Ha 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 ha. Oh, he needs ten of... Wait, he killed me in one hit? Wait, what? <laughs> I I can't tell if I'm just lagging too much to know or if he actually killed me in one hit. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm on game. Okay. So since I actually need ten, not eight, it looks like we do have to collect... A bit more coal and lapis, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go for diamonds, though. So, this is probably going to be where I start to skip. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the music, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, my brain was not fully prepared for this competition of ores, but whatever.
That grind took me quite a while, and I only got one refined mineral and one jerry. But, you know, your boy did his best. So we're going to open another jerry box real quick. Cool. 2500 farming XP. Couldn't have been fishing. Couldn't have given me fishing XP or alchemy. But yeah, it gives me one of the few things I like about this game. Okay, so what I'm going to do now... Oh, frick, I got another one of the rare diamonds. Ah... <sighs> So let me let me break down my emotions really quick. But I say really quick and then I stop talking. I know I'm so legendary, right, guys? Uh, oof. annoying. Okay. Now, as you may know, I finally got enough to wear. I can go to the Dwarven Mines. I didn't really need to come all the way back, but since I got two level ups, I think one in Taming, one in... I, I don't freaking know what the other one was. It might have been Mining. Um, I had like 2k gold, and while, as you might have saw from my bank account, I'm kind of... I'm what you would call early game loaded. Um, I'm definitely not doing well enough on money to where I can afford to lose a thousand gold due to me dying stupidly. So I just worked out to do it that way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now that I've done that grinding, I have to get back there, which is going to take a minute. Um, I'm going to be able to... I think it shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Uh, 
Because all I have to do is... I think I just warp to the Obsidian Sanctuary, and then I get the Heart of the Mountain. Okay. We yeet ourselves around. Yeah, as you can see from the dude in front of me, everyone just yeets around on a grappling hook. It is the best item in the game. And we'll talk about refined mineral later. Okay, and we're warping on in. Beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Oh, there's a goblin raid. Oh, my God. Come on, come on, come on. Now, I was planning on just showing you all around this place, but uh, there's a goblin raid going on, and your boy has a bow to shoot things with. Where? There they are. So, welcome to the Dwarven Mines, where everything is chaotic and not at all helpful. <laughs> this zone is the updated mining area. Oh, I died. Okay. <laughs> uh, the way that this area works is it's just a lot of fun. There's a bunch of different events. You can get here through the uh, deep caverns at pretty much any point in time. The current event that I'm at, that is only lagging slightly, it's fine. Come on. Okay, since I helped to kill the Super Protectron, I now have to think about the amount I need to get. But the way this event works is you need to kill as many of the uh, zombie boys not zombies, goblins, as you can within the time limit, and you're basically working as a team to get an X amount of kills, but you individually also want to get kills, too. And you'll end up getting some extra points that you can use in this area, but again, I'll explain that after after we're done with uh, dying in the event. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I'll probably end up closing this episode off after this event finishes. Oh jeez. I do not have enough damage output for this area. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also don't have good enough armor for this, but it's fine. It's not like I have much money on me anyway. Oh, wait, where's the super protector on? Oh, wait, there he is. Now we can eat all of the weaklings. <sighs> I may not be a co- oh, I just now found that. Okay. But yeah, the, the event goes on for a hot minute, and you can just eat as many as you want, and because I killed enough goblins, oh, we actually lost the event, but because I killed a bunch, I got 10k mining XP, some Heart of the Mountain XP, and some other stuff. So the way that this area works is since I'm just chilling here, you get the Heart of the Mountain, and with it, you can upgrade this cute little tier. And the more you get, the better perks you get. Uh, you can only unlock things in the matching line or lower. So right now, since I'm only tier 1, I can only unlock this. But once you unlock it with the first level, you can upgrade it as many times as you want by using your Mithril Powder. I have enough Mithril Powder to increase my mining speed by quite a bit. Yeah, I can't see my Mithril Powder because I didn't talk to the people I needed to talk to, but you know, whatever. We're fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, how do I get home from here? Oh no. Uh, 
but yeah, this area unlocks better pickaxes, the drill item, which is kind of just also a pickaxe, but like, different. It's a very large area, and it's got a lot of cool things. Uh, if you look at those blocks that look like prismarine and wool, those are the prismarine blocks that you will need to mine if you want to get a bunch of stoof. Game. 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 <laughs> and every once in a while, there is uh, going to be events such as that goblin raid that'll pop up while you're here. Basically, there's almost no reason to go into the regular mines once you've unlocked the dwarven mines, unless you're hard targeting something. Because there are also, if you look up, those are minecarts. Um, inside, I don't think it's every minecart, but a lot of them will have various ores that you can mine, and they mine pretty fast. Who it is? Who it is? I don't remember you. Hello, Mr. Train. Oh. Oh. He just requires rent. Okay, that must have been a more recent update or something. But uh, you can use him to get through the mines to pretty much wherever you want, apparently. For just a small coin fee. Hello. Hello, all of the drunk people. As you would expect of dwarves, there's a little tavern. Um, the area you spawn in, the area that I'm in right now, is just the main part of town. And as you can see, I can, in fact, mine the random ore that are laying around. Uh, the dude I talked to a couple times to warp is Events Old Man Geary. Gary is who you can get to whenever you see an event pop up. I believe they're every 30 minutes? I think there's an event every 20 minutes, but it's usually a passive event like Extra Powder. Um... Oh, there's the reforged Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff just kind of chilling here. But the more important areas, there is the bank over there, so you can deposit your money while you're here. You don't have to worry about warping out every time. Oh, I was supposed to talk to you. That's what it was. Hey, Reese. Biggie. Biggie. E. So as Reese said, there's a lot of different activities you can do here. I'm not going to do bit bit bit. I'm not going to do any more of them this episode, but I am going to explore this little area a little more. Now, this dude right here, Boulevard, he lets you upgrade your minions, your mining minions specifically, to tier 12. If you bring the minion the proper amount of gold and uh, not gold, proper amount of coins and some blocks to upgrade it with, you'll be able to upgrade all your minions to tier 12. Um, it's going to be a long time before I get there. But there's also Boo-Boo. Yeah, yeah, Boo-Boo. Um, he sells pickaxes. With 10k coins, you can get the Fractured Pickaxe, which the Fractured Mithril Pickaxe, which is why I never made myself a diamond pickaxe. There's not really a reason to make a generic diamond pickaxe when you can make a pickaxe that's objectively better. Yeah, so Sir Broadjot, just, just, just give me my 10k. Thank you. Now, it doesn't have telekinesis yet, so I'm not going to actually be going to mine much. But I will be doing another episode right after this where I will actually explore these mines. Or wait, does it come with telekinesis? It doesn't. It's just enchanted looking. Ooh, spooky pickaxe. But yeah, once I add telekinesis to this beautiful boy... In fact, I'm going to just grab three coins. I'm just going to light myself on fire is what I meant to say, clearly. Don't you know? I'm going to grab three coins... And I haven't been recording as long as I want to, so I am going to at least show you guys a little bit of what mithril mining is like. So, well, here, let's... There's some right here. In this area, there's a bunch of different areas, and with this special pickaxe, you can mine the blocks. Each of them has a different durability and tends to drop different amounts of things. 
Um, the light blue is the hardest to mine. It takes the longest, but it also drops the most. And by picking up Mithril, I've unlocked the Mithril Collection. And um, the clay-looking stuff and the black wool, gray wool, whatever, are the quickest to mine. So it's typically pretty good to get those. Now, I am going to come over here. I think this is... Actually, I don't think I've done this yet. Okay. I need to reach tier 3 to use her. It makes sense. The last time I was here, she wasn't even ready yet. Huh. Okay. Hello, everyone. Oh! Huh. Those are nice. But yeah, uh, this is part of the newer update in the area. Yeah. There's seven gemstones you can find inside a certain cavern that you have to unlock, but you again have to be tier three first. But since I introduced myself to all these characters, I got myself a little bit of extra gold. And we're going to do one last thing before going to telekinesis and end. We are going to... well, hang on, I might as well unlock this area. Wait, why? Oh, that it doesn't say that I... whatever. That was Lava Springs. <laughs> I was trying to see if it would do the -da 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 sound effect thing. <sighs> Come on. Welcome to the Royal Palace. Uh, the Royal Palace, like you would expect, has the king, or in this case, the kings. There is one queen and I believe seven different kings. They don't have any differences between them, last time I checked. But when you talk to the current active king, whoever's sitting on the throne, he will give you quests. Um, I think you start with two, but you can get three or four if you update certain things. Um, I need to participate in any mining event, and I need to mine 50 mithril ore. Uh, how much time do I have left? You know what? We're going to just do that first quest. I'm pretty sure the first quest is always really easy. I think for everyone it will be just mine 50. Eh. Eh. So we're going to yeet ourselves over, mine some mithril ore, and show you what, what it do. What a dog doing? Plus, it doesn't hurt to get extra mithril so that I can upgrade my Heart of the Mountain. Now, it is annoying that they are going to be just kind of... Yeah, I should I should stay on the ground for this, because until I have telekinesis on this, this is going to be a pain. <laughs> but yeah, the green things that are dropping are the um, mithril powder. And then the, obviously, Prismarine Shard-looking thing is the Mithril Ore. But you, you normally don't see them once you have Telekinesis. Oh, jeez. And this, oh, oh, that's a very special block. This right here is Titanium. Titanium rarely spawns while you are breaking a block. So break the block. Um, <laughs> sometimes it can be smart to leave the titanium for others because there are a lot of quests for people for titanium in X, Y, or Z area, but because I'm still very, very, very small bean, there's not a huge incentive for me to do that right now. Because <laughs> um, they are, as you can see, massive mining XP. That was 225 for that one block. So your boy needs some extra, <laughs> some extra mining XP right now. But let's eat ourselves. I don't actually know how many we have. But at least my rabbit has leveled up all the way to level 31 in one episode. We love that for me. It is only rare quality, but still. Yep. Yep, yorp. I might even be able to reach mining 20... Because, yeah, they are 100 per. 
At the very least, by next episode, I will be the next level of mining. I don't think I am mining 20. I think I just saw 20k, and... Let's see. <laughs> but yeah, the quicker you can mine all of it, the better, typically. Um, there are upgrades for increasing your pickaxe's skill. There's upgrades for increasing all sorts of things, but you do get a limited number of upgrades total. And I don't think there's a way to expand past the expected... Po oh, I did reach... I did reach mining 15. Okay. We love that for me. Uh, so yeah, I am going to get even more drops from every from every mine I block. From every block I mine. Which is always nice. Uh, I don't know if that counts as 50 mithril. Because I think it would have said the quest popped up. Uh, come on, Mr. Block. Okay, if... It might be because I haven't completed a quest yet that it's not showing up. I don't know. And see, it hasn't been that long and there's already a new event. Um, a Fallen Star has dropped in the Royal Mines, which is actually right below where I am, but... I'm not trying to lose the little money that I have, so I'm not going to do that for you guys. But like I said, events are fairly common. Hello, King. Oh, I'm literally like two blocks. I, I just wasn't sure if it wasn't the thing. And the way it works is you can do four quests per day with bonus drops from the King. Um, and you'll get like four times the points for completing your first four quests of the day. So there's typically a benefit to coming here every IRL day. Um, I was one block away. I hate that for me. And now I'm on fire. I also hate that for me. <laughs> oh, jeez, Rick. Okay, uh, let's just yeet ourselves back up again. Oh, why did I do that? Oh my god, I made it. Oh my god, if I missed, I would have fallen in the lava. Oh my god. Hi. Give me my points. And now I need to mine two titanium ore, but we'll, we'll, we'll probably do that next episode. The main thing was that I got extra mithril. Oh wait, I didn't. Mm. Um, it will be really easy to reach tier two. Um, you basically have to get the Mining Fortune and Mining Speed upgrades. Uh, uh, but from there you get to branch out whichever way you want. Um, and I think you get... Yeah, you get two for that, two for that, two for that, and two for that. So you get nine total. Getting the increased pickaxe ability level is really good for one particular pickaxe. Um, and you get that for free, because if you get it, you get an extra token of the mountain. So, when you get Efficient Miner plus this, it's just really good. Really good. Because um, it costs one, but you... Oh, it doesn't cost one. You get it for free. Right. Right, you get it for free. <laughs> I didn't even realize you get that for free. So you do get ten in total. And it's pretty much one, two, three, four, then you get this, then you can get pretty much anything you want from there and whatever branch. And there are a bunch of them that are really good, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's like seventeen upgrades and you can only get ten of them. So Oh, two times powder. Oh, that's fun. Oh, if I didn't have to go get telekinesis, that'd be wonderful. But, I do. So, I'm gonna cut this off here, but uh, pretty much right after I get telekinesis, I will be back with another recording. So, next time you see me after this, I will probably be doing more. I know, I know, I should, I should split it up, but I just got access to it, and I want to show y'all it. Um, this is the type of thing that, off-camera, off I will probably come and do some daily quests here and there. But I will only strive to do the dailies when I'm here. Um, if a quest occurs, I might do that as well, because it's just extra points. There's not 
you know, there, there's a lot of points I'm going to have to earn, and me turning on the recording every single time I come here is uh, a pain. But anyway, stay awesome, stay salty, and stay safe. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I said it backwards. My outros have been getting worse and worse. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. And peace out, my fan to fan pals. Bye! <laughs>